Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Dr. Says. In this gout series, the topic I'll be sharing with you today is Is high uric acid equals to gout? If you miss out on my previous video where I talk about home remedies for gout, you can click on the link above. Now, let's get on to it. Have your doctor ever told you that you have high uric acid levels? but you feel completely fine with no joint pains. However, you are concerned because you heard from your friends or relatives that high uric acid level equals to gout. Confused? Let me clear your doubt today. First, the medical term for high uric acid level is hyperuricemia. Hyper means high, uric means uric acid, and semia means in your blood. Hence, high level of uric acid in your blood. Uric acid is a waste product of purine, a protein in our body. When there are high uric acid levels, there is a chance of monosodium urate crystals forming and depositing in your joints. When this happens, you will feel pain in a particular joint and this is what is known as gout. However, not everyone with high uric acid levels will form monosodium urate crystals or experience joint pain and this is known as asymptomatic hyperuricemia. But doctor, why do I have hyperuricemia? Well, there are plenty of factors. Examples include dietary intake, lifestyle, genetics, and most importantly, drugs. Hyperuricemia is more common in men over 30 years or women over 50 years. The reason behind this is because premenopausal women have more hormones known as estrogen in their body, which can increase uric acid clearance by the kidneys, while males have testosterone, which increases absorption of uric acid. You may also want to be on the lookout if you are on these common medications. For example, furosemide and hydrochlorothiazides for hypertension, aspirin for heart disease, immunosuppressants for autoimmune disease, anti-tuberculous drugs for tuberculosis, and chemotherapy for cancer. Because all of these will increase your uric acid. Now you must be wondering, but doctor, is it dangerous to have hyperuricemia though? Well, the short answer is yes. You should not ignore it. Why? Because not only it increases your risk of having gouty arthritis in the future, it also increases your risk of developing chronic kidney disease. High uric acid can precipitate uric acid stone formation and deposition in the kidneys and urinary tract, causing symptoms like loin pain, painful urination, bloody and sandy urine. Not to mention, studies have also shown that people with hyperuricemia usually have pre-existing hypertension, kidney, and heart problems to begin with. So, when should you be worried? You should consult your doctor if your uric acid levels are more than 8 mg per deciliter or 480 micromole per liter. Generally speaking, asymptomatic hyperuricemia doesn't require pharmacology treatment. The majority can get away with just lifestyle and diet changes, which I've already covered in my previous video. So please watch it if you haven't already. However, if you do experience symptoms due to uric acid stones in your kidney and urinary tract, you may want to keep yourself well hydrated with at least 2 liters of water intake a day and alkalinize your urine with potassium citrate or sodium bicarbonate. Besides, your doctor may also want to review and change the current medication you are on to a more uric acid friendly drug. A common example will be to switch out hydrochlorothiazide for your hypertension to losartan and to add on phenofibrate for your cholesterol. But please do consult your doctor before doing so. If all doesn't work, your doctor may consider starting you with gout medication like allopurinol to lower your uric acid. So there you have it guys. The question is, when is the last time you checked your uric acid levels? Leave a comment down below and don't forget to smash the like button, share and subscribe for more content like this in the future.